Yeah, so the, the thing that I've chosen in Beamish as part of Museum Passion, as my favourite uh, part of the collection, is in the building behind us and it's the, the winding engine. Uh, the winding engine was built in 1855 by James Joyce and Company in Newcastle in their fourth bank works and it was built for Beamish Colliery. Beamish Colliery wasn't originally where we see it now, it was just up at the top of the hill near where the, the museum entrance is now. Uh, but in 1962 the colliery closed down and it was left derelict and the engine and the engine house was going to be demolished uh, but Frank Atkinson who was the founding director of Beamish he managed to persuade the National Coal Board to not demolish it, not send it to the scrap man and he worked tirelessly with English Heritage to actually make it happen uh, to be able to bring it down to Beamish and be part of the museum and it's one of the, the first things that was actually reconstructed at the museum. So the winding engine was built in 1855 and worked right up until November 1962. So it was 107 years in active service um, and it's been running at the museum ever since it was rebuilt. It would have worked on a mine shaft that was 400 feet deep. So the engine is basically taking the cages up and down the mine shaft. So from the winding engine over the pulley wheels, you've got two steel cables go down a 400 foot deep shaft and as it pulls one cage up the mine shaft it lowers one down so it was taking empty tubs down the mine shaft and then the full tubs of coal are being brought up the shaft so it could travel at about 24 feet a second so at the bottom it was a minute to load the coal 30 seconds up a minute to unload it 30 seconds back down and that was running 24 hours a day six days a week so it only stopped on a sunday so you'd have three winder men each covering an eight hour shift and that went on day in day out